Good afternoon, everybody. Fortunately, no storms like that around our region right now. We do have some showers and thunderstorms ongoing across the tri-states. As you take a look, you can see some red and yellow uh, returns here across the area. Some good downpours, maybe a rumble or two, a uh, little bit of thunder out there. But otherwise, not too much going on. Now, as we go in for a closer look right here around the Quincy and Hannibal areas, we do have some uh, thunder showers just off to the west of Hannibal here. And uh, right between Palmyra and Hannibal, a couple more showers out towards Shelbyville in Shelby County, Missouri, and northwestern section of Marion County and another storm cell right up here north of Columbus dropping some good rains it looks like as well at this hour. So as we go on through the evening we'll keep that chance of showers and storms across the area. Temperatures have warmed into the lower 80s for many of us. It's 80 degrees down in St. Louis, 81 right now up in Chi-Town, 81 in Moline, 76 degrees over in Kirksville. A little cooler out that way. A little closer to home right here in the tri-states, 82 degrees here in Quincy right now, 81 in Hannibal, 75 up in Keokuk, 85 those you travel further southeast to Macomb home and 78 down in Pittsfield. So a little bit of a uh, a wide range there of temperatures across the region, but we will see temperatures fall back into the 60s later on tonight. Currently 82 degrees at the airport with a mostly sunny sky. The dew point up there, if it feels muggy out there, this is why 61 degrees indicates a humid air mass. The winds are light and variable right now across the region. So temperatures generally in the 60s, 70s, and 80s depends on where you are. Further to the south, they've had some rain and clouds down towards Springfield where it's 65 degrees. We can see those clouds showing up here on the satellite imagery from St. Louis running south into the Ozarks. And our own next of the woods here, some clouds, some pop up showers and thunderstorms here. We do have a frontal boundary across the northern part of the area that is continuing to wave back and forth. And as it does so, get a little bit of activity with some showers and thunderstorms across the area. And we will continue to see that chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head on in later on to tomorrow night. It does appear so as we head on through the next 24 hours, just a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm here or there. Eventually we'll see temperatures fall back to around 60 to uh, 62 degrees. That is by tomorrow morning. Southeast winds 5 to 10 miles an hour for tomorrow. Take temperatures on up into the upper 70s with a chance of storms. Partly sunny skies out there. Winds are out of the southeast 5 to 15 miles an hour. Saturday, a warm front lifts north of the region. We have some dry weather with partly cloudy skies. Highs right around 84 degrees. Some sunshine and some clouds and some warm temperatures with storms around on Sunday. Highs around 88. And then later on Monday, we're going to take a look at conditions that will be well, potentially a little bit on the um, destructive side across our region. Some severe weather potential in the Midwest on Sunday night into Monday. And uh, we'll see what that means locally for us here in the tri-states. But nonetheless, Monday will be one of those days you want to keep your eyes peeled for uh, any weather watches or warnings. As we head through Monday, temperatures in the 80s again. 82 on Tuesday, Stephen, with a chance of showers and storms before we dry out for Wednesday and Thursday next week. So really, it's Monday is the day we really need to watch for. Sunday, it could be moving, making its way in, but Monday is the day we need to be really... L later on Sunday that. into Monday. Later okay. Sunday into Monday because that front's going to come from the west, so our western viewing counties will want to pay attention then on All right. Sunday too. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thanks.